for part two of Reality Check, where we speak to former IPS officer uh, Julio Ribeiro. He talks about how he feels with this entire controversy about the Delhi Archbishop writing to parishioners, asking them to lead a prayer campaign ahead of 2019. It's been uh, responded, it's received a lot of controversy with the top brass of the BJP and the government criticizing him for politicizing this and saying that a man of the church should not be speaking about politics in such manner. Here's uh, Julia Ribeiro when I asked him what he felt about this and why he felt that Archbishop Koto was correct. It seems from the column that you've written about this that you are disturbed about what the Archbishop said and the government responds to it. Tell us about that. Well, actually, I did not know what the Archbishop said till I heard the government's response to it. That is when everything came to our notice. If the Archbishop had only addressed parishioners in his own diocese, and that we are in, staying in Mumbai, that is in Delhi. So, but when the government responded and Mr. Amit Shah said that he is polarizing voters on communal lines, I felt a little amused because Mr. I thought that he was much better at that job and a poor cleric, what would he polarize a few Christian votes? Hardly anybody under his charge. So are you upset about what the Home Minister and what the BJP National President Amit Shah said? I don't remember now what the Home Minister said, but Amit Shah, I remember this polarizing of voters. He mentioned that. And that, I thought, was a very, very uh, amusing statement from a, from a person who has been practicing this art for a very long time. I don't know whether it is an art or a science, perhaps a science, I don't know what you would call it. There are some people, however, sir, that say that the Archbishop shouldn't have made a political comment like this, but you obviously disagree. Well, uh, I don't think that the... Um, Archbishop is interested in politics and neither is he contesting any elections nor is he competing for power. But he, he is bothered about his own flock and that they are not troubled in, uh, in any way. So if the Christian minority feels that now things are becoming a little too hot for, for the minorities, then I'm not surprised. Because though, say in Mumbai, I, we, I don't think anybody is really worried at the moment. But in the north, in, Mum in Delhi, there have been instances in the past where the government first took over. But sir, even the Cardinal Oswald, who's the head of the church in India, he seems to have distanced himself from that particular letter. Well, you know, the church would not like to get involved because uh, the church, after all, uh, it sticks to its spiritual and uh, religious matters and they want to ensure that all the faithful, as they call them, uh, w would have freedom of religion, which is happening. I mean, we don't say that we, I go to also to church, there is no problem about it. And I don't think the people who go there are frightened in any way. But the church would not, as such, uh, would like to keep away. What's really worrying in your piece, sir, uh, what you've written, is that uh, you seem to be saying that Christians should prepare to become second-class citizens. Look, I feel that Mr. Modi and Mr. the Shah Modi combination uh, will will come to power again. This is what my, my own view is, and and then another five years, and then they will consolidate. Uh, I, you know, I personally uh, am not a person who just criticizes them for the sake of criticizing. Because I think they have, Mr. Modi has done a lot of good work also. And he has got a lot of good ideas and he, he really wants the country's um, um, progress. There is no doubt in my mind or anybody's mind about that. Yes. And, but the point is that if it is meant only for 80%, then of course I think he will, uh, he will come a cropper. This is my view. So you think they only work for 80% of the population? Well, that is what I feel Hindu Rashtra means, uh, because uh, uh, if uh, because why should they call it Hindu Rashtra otherwise? 
and and that uh, if it is only for them which now for example the 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 elevation of uh, justice joseph i mean it is quite obvious that his uh, i feel that it is his uh, religion that came uh, came uh, was uh, crop was the st uh, stumbling point so as a final question to you what is your message as a member of the community as an upright ips officer who everyone looks up to what is the message that you want to send to policy makers and others who may be listening to this interview right now i say that please revert to the to the bjp of mr vajpai because that was a very uh, a, a situation or a government that we anybody would accept if it is a right to right of center party as against a left of center as represented by the congress and others uh, i think that uh, it is a choice that people can make on economic considerations and i think that would be a very legitimate way of of running politics in this country but to introduce a communal aspect and to say that muslims um, are a vote bank and every somebody else is some caste is a vote bank the dalits are a vote bank i mean this kind of politics i think will cause a lot of damage to the to the to the character of this country